Today we're talking the NAR settlement again, but specifically what this means for buyers. Keep this idea in mind. Differently itemized accounting, same result. So there's a lot of talk with the settlement. Are buyers gonna be pushed out of the marketplace because they don't have the cash to bring the buyer agent commissions to the table? We see it as a big misunderstanding. So the headlines, they wanna make you believe this. Here's the deal. If you're a buyer, you've entered into an agency relationship with your agent, you need to get the agent paid X, whatever X is. That's for representing you, bringing you around town, showing you properties, sending you off-market properties, taking you all the way from A to Z in a real estate transaction, and you're worried about, well, where do I get X? It's very simple. You can simply offer the purchase price plus X, and then you build it into the offer and you ask for it back as a seller concession to the buyer. The seller is still netting the same. You bring all of the money in through your loans. So you don't necessarily have to come out of pocket extra than you normally would. So just keep this in mind. This is, this is really the same way that it's always been done. The buyer brings in all of the funds to the transaction and the seller takes a portion of those funds and it ends up going back to both agents. Initially, everything goes to the listing side and then a portion of that is then given to the buy side. 